Welcome to this short video. My name is Pierre Bonnet. I'm co-founder of Orchestra Networks, software vendor in the field of master data management and data governance. I'm also founder of the not-for-profit community MDM Alliance Group. This community just published a new pre-built data model on our MDM cloud platform named smartdatagovernance.com. The repository I'm talking about here is named Parties Ecosystem MDM. The topic of this short video is to provide you with key information about this data model. Please note that this is a donation by MDM Alliance Group under a Creative Commons license. It means fully free of use. The goal of the Parties Ecosystem MDM is to provide a unified data repository to collect all information about relationships between parties. Types of party and types of relationships between parties shall be able to evolve over time without any IT operations in database on modifications on the data model. In one sentence, the goal is to deploy the 360-degree view on parties or relationships. First of all, let me remind you that this uh, all too common type of data modeling shall be given up to model parties and their relationships. Unfortunately, with this model, adding a new type of party or role becomes a real nightmare as it requires data model modifications on IT process delivery. The data model we provide you is really more agile as it relies on a role management approach. It means that a party holds a role in relation to another party in the context of a party relationship type. This is a very powerful way to model parties' ecosystem since it's easy to add new types of party on relationships. Sharing data when a party plays many roles is fully unsure. Therefore, this data model is more sustainable. But now the key question to tackle is how this data model could be meaningful to business users as it seems very generic. This is here that our MDM Cloud Platform comes into play. So let me show you now some snapshots of our Parties Ecosystem MDM Cloud Platform. Here you can see the list of parties. Please note that you can easily add other fields to collect information about a party. Indeed, in the smartdatagovernance.com, you will have access to a data modeling assistant bringing functions to adapt to the predefined data model to meet your own requirements. Moreover, you will also be able to devise your own data models online without any skill required in UML or XML schema. This snapshot shows the data hierarchy view of party by type of party, such as organizations and person. In the repository, you will find a list of predefined party roles. Obviously, you can author and change these values. For example, we have roles such as employee, provider, member, chairman, headquarters, subsidiary, husband, wife, father, son, etc. A data hierarchy view brings a query by category, namely family roles such as professional, domestic, organization, structure, etc. Now you see the core mechanisms of the party's ecosystem MDM. This is the party interaction. You can see in this tabular view that a party plays a role in relation to another party in the context of a party relationship type. For instance, Richard Moore is an employee of the company Air and Shipping Relay. He also holds many other roles towards different other parties, prospective customer, buyer, husband, father, etc. You will see that Richard Moore was the husband of Linda Allen from 2008 to June 2011, and since August 2011, he has been married to Kimberly Nelson. Therefore, the repository also manages period of time attached to roles played by parties. Please also note some examples of type of relationship we have predefined in the repository on the cloud computing platform. Employment relationship, customer relationship, married affiliation, market relationship, useful, for instance, when the role is competitor, etc. When you define a new interaction between parties, you just have to follow this easy-to-use grammar. This is a type of semantic network to define interaction between two parties playing well-identified roles in the context of a relationship type. 
The reverse interaction is interesting to collect more information about relationship. Here are some examples of reverse interaction. Husband, wife, customer provider, headquarters subsidiary, etc. The data hierarchy views automatically computed by the MDM is really powerful to get different axes of view. For instance, here you can see in this screen the view by the main party involved in relationships. Then you can see that the pre-book publisher company plays many roles toward many other parties. Two headquarters, it means pre-book publisher holds two subsidiaries, one competitor, four partners, and one managed by CEO. The second data hierarchy view is by reversed party. Here we get for each party involved in the interaction with pre-book publisher the list of roles played towards our parties. Please note that the reverse role is used to achieve these mechanisms. For example, Hairpen Publisher Company is a subsidiary of Preabook Publisher. In the previous slide, we saw that it was Preabook that played the headquarter role towards Hairpen Publisher. This third data hierarchy view is by interaction, namely by role. So it provides a direct view of which parties play which roles. By using this parties ecosystem MDM in our cloud, you will find out many other features to query data. Here we have a snapshot of a view by type of relation, company agreement, customer relationship, etc. When you access the MDM cloud platform, you will get two data governance parts. On the left, this is an excerpt of business objects you will manage to collect information about interactions between parties. On the right, this is an excerpt of the logical data model where you find more IT information such as primary and foreign keys. This is here. You will be able to adapt the data model by adding, removing object, field, foreign keys to meet your own requirements. This is done by a full declarative way. It means in self-service mode on the cloud platform without any skill required in UML on XML schema. Your MDM repository on smartdatagovernance.com is fully secured and open to you when connection with your own systems is needed. A lot of import and export data functions are automatically provided, including spreadsheets and XML web services. Finally, please note that our MDM is fully model-driven. It means that all screens and functions you saw in this presentation and those you will use in the cloud are automatically generated from the data model. So now it's your turn. You can easily test it by subscribing a free online trial on smartdatagovernance.com. Thanks for sharing your time with us. Feel free to contact us to go further. Thanks again and see you soon. Bye-bye.